One, one, two. Check me out right here, yo. Mike check, Mike check. What's kicking, family? This is Mr. Batch of the Commission. 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 Yeah. Mike check, Mike check. I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. What's going on, family? All right, happy day after Thanksgiving Day. Hopefully everybody out there had a very uh, enjoyable and eventful time with friends and family around the table with that big turkey. You know, I kind of miss um, the turducken. And you guys out there know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about John Madden with Pat Summerall. As you know, it's been a year uh, now that uh, Pat Summerall has um, left us and his legacy as a broadcaster in the booth on so many NFL games will not be forgotten, at least not by myself, because it was always enjoyable and a pleasure and a learning experience when Pat Summerall and John Madden would, would do the games on Sundays and on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I watched the slate of games. I only watched the first two games, and then um, I didn't catch the third game. Uh, was having a great time and was doing the karaoke. Yes, I had a few um, adult beverages in me to get, get me up there to do that. But overall, I had a great time on Thanksgiving Day, and I hope you guys and gals out there also. Now, Mr. Batch continues. Okay, Giants Redskins coming up. All right, as we've seen yesterday, the Cowboys sewn up sole possession of the NFC East with a defeat over the Oakland Raiders. And the way was the way the game was going, I was hoping that the Raiders would uh, would hold fast and and put it on the Cowboys, but. Shoddy tackling by the Raiders definitely sealed their fate. All right, uh, moving right along. We've got RG3. RG3 and the Washington Redskins are in a bit of a conundrum. Yes, they've got turmoil going all over the place for them. Look, uh, the Giants need to win out the next five games. Um, in order to have some shot or some semblance of uh, trying to um, get into the playoffs but uh, what we Giants have to worry about is that just win the games win the five games out and then let the chips fall where they may whatever happens outside of uh, our control that's it last week is behind us we had uh, a chance to control uh, it to a certain extent it didn't happen. Here we are. Five games left. Next up, Washington Redskins. They're not the same team that they were last year when uh, RG3 was, what did they say? Uh, bum, 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 uh, Let me see. As a rookie, he dazzled the world by completing 65.6% of his passes, throwing 20 touchdowns and only five interceptions, and rushing for 815 yards and seven touchdowns to lead the Redskins to the NFC East title. Nowhere near that of what he was last year. Uh, as you know, he had an MCL and an LCL injury, and um, he came back too soon. No, he did not pull an Adrian Peterson. As you guys know, uh, I'm talking football here, okay, folks? We're talking football. Peterson busted up knee, came back, ran for 2,000 some odd yards. Very superhuman type deal with that. RG3 came back from a devastating knee injury. Didn't play the preseason, came in, thought he would be ready. What, the guy from the 49ers Right, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. The Redskins, um, 3 and 8 record. 49 linebacker Armand Brooks, uh, after seeing RG3 throw for only 127 yards and rush for 22 in a 27 6 loss to San Francisco on Monday night, 
spoke for many when he said, I don't think he should be playing. Everybody can see it. There's turmoil in Washington. He's not the same player. We don't care. If they put this guy on instead of Cousins, and Cousins back there who's, who's much healthier and who's a capable backup, you know, very capable, you know, it's almost a case like, you know, Cousins could probably be the starting quarterback for them. But in this case, right now, Archie Three's on there. We're going to come at him. We're going to try and hit him, disrupt him, throw him off. His, he's arguing. He, he threw his receivers under the bus. He threw uh, Kyle Shanahan under the bus. He's not taking responsibility for it. You know, he's not... You know, humbled by the fact that this injury has slowed him down substantially more so than any other injury he's had in his life. So that's too bad. So the Giants, as we know, have to win outright. All right. Okay, we're trying to win every game, said Weatherford. If we win all these games, you never know. If we don't, we don't have a shot. We've got way too much pride and character in this locker room to do anything else, he added. Our fans deserve more. Our coaches deserve more. So we're going to do our best to give it to them. Hey, reality has set in. They know the, the, the task at hand. And that's the bottom line. Went out the next five straight games. Starting with the Washington Redskins. This is Mr. Batch. I'm out of here. Like I stole something. Peace.